Hey, so uh, if you watched my first video, How to Hip Hop Dance, Moving Like a Hip Hop Dancer, uh, you saw that at the end of the video I did a bunch of small intricate moves that I said I would teach you. So this move, uh, this uh, video is about teaching you those small moves. It's focused on isolation. And to isolate something means to separate it from something else. And so this video is going to teach you all about how to uh, use one part of your body and move it while not moving anything else and how to practice that and put it together so that you can isolate really well. Um, the key to this is experimenting. You need to find out what looks good with your body. I'm really like, kind of quick athletically and so I do a lot of like small intricate moves and can really move my body very quickly. But uh, some people are not as quick athletically like if you watch Shaq, if you look up his video with him dancing with the Jabberwockies, he's very kind of fluid and he isolates very well but he's not quick athletically, but he does a really good job. So you need to start experimenting with some of the moves I'm going to show you, see what looks good, practice those moves, and just do kind of make your own style of what looks good with your body. Um, to begin with, if you watched my other video on um, the, my Pop Swagger video, the, the dance that I did to Pop Champagne Instrumental, uh, I, I choreographed it solely for my students to practice the isolation. So the first move is I'm kind of down with my feet beyond shoulder width apart, and I go down with my head and then over. This is all very tight, flexing all these muscles, making it very powerful. I don't want you to slide over, I want you to go down and then over. Then, keeping everything still, put my arm out, hand down like that. Then, I'm gonna go up on my toe and bring my knee in, again, while not moving anything. And then, I'm gonna put my arm out and pull my head in, boom, like that. So it's like a boom, boom, without moving anything. Now those moves by themselves are like, oh yeah, I can do this, and then yeah, I can do this, and whatever, but doing them to the beat and all together very isolated, that's what's kind of hard, and that's what my students have problems with. So even though I'm going to play another song and, uh, and do that, this to that song, even though it's not to pop, you'll see uh, me doing it with the beat, and that's one thing that you can practice. So head down and over, very sharp, arm down, hand down, then knee up, knee down, hand out, pull the head in. So it's and one, and two, and three, and four. Boom, like that. It needs to be very sharp, very isolated. Um, after I do that to this, to this new song I'm going to do it to, uh, I'm going to teach you another little bit of isolation. You need to, first going back to the experimenting, you just need to get in front of a mirror, put on a popular song that you hear at a club. Uh, if you know the beat, you're going to be able to do it a lot better because you, you can anticipate what the song is going to do. And just start doing, you need to do small moves, you know, practice moving your head to the side, head up, tilting it to the side without moving anything else. Small move that, you know, seems pretty simple, but you need to be able to do it to the beat very sharply and uh, without thinking about it so that you can think about other moves that you want to do. So all these moves become second nature. You need to do things with your feet. Remember the heel toe flick in one of my other videos where you go like this? Practice doing that. As if there's a curtain here, you wouldn't even be able to tell that you're moving. It's very isolated. I'm not even moving my upper body. So you can do that. Practice doing shoulder rolls. To right, shoulder up, chest forward, left shoulder up, and then back. You kind of put it together, you can do a shoulder roll. So if I do heel toe flick, shoulder roll. It's very isolated. I adjust my lower body, just my upper body. Without moving my whole lower body, I'm just doing a small movement with just my upper body. Very isolated. So there's a lot of small moves that you can do. Um, in front of the mirror, find out what looks good for you. Some of you are not going to be able to do rolls very well. Some of you maybe just need to do sharper things with your arms, with your legs. If you're flexible, you can maybe do more moves to kind of take advantage of your flexibility. All those things. The one uh, 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 other uh, sequence I'm going to teach you is this. We're going to do first your uh, lower body first and upper body. Put your right leg up like this. You're going to step down on your heel, kind of. The toe is just going to be a little bit up. And you're going to kind of do a heel toe flick, except instead of your feet being sideways, just side by side, right foot's going to be up. I'm going to flick my right toe out this way, my, right, my left heel inwards like that. So it's going to be like that, except my right foot's going to be above here, so I flick it out like that. So a pop hand, just like that. So up, down, pop hand. One, two, three, and then I'm going to put my left foot up and go out on four. Upper body. I'm going to go one, two, three, and point four, like that. So when I combine that, I go like this. One, two, three, and four, like that. Then, I was talking about movements with your head, isolating it. I want you to just do head down to the left, down to the right. You're going to go up on your toes, 
pigeon toe your knees in. Then you're going to kind of roll your hand down, right hand down, bring your left hand above it, and pull your body up like this, and then you're going to hit like that. So we've got a one, you're going to go down two, pull it three, and point four, head five, six, feet seven, pull it eight, bump it one, just like that. So let's try it with the music, and I can show you those two sequences. All right. This is called Available by Flowrider. Pop champagne move. So if you see that, it's very and one and two and three and four and five, six, seven, eight, eight. New sequence. Five, six, seven, eight. It's the one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. So, the point is, is like, you just see me doing a little bit. I mean, I, I like to do a lot of quick movements, kind of smooth it out, and then come up and hit it again. If you watch all the small moves that I'm doing, they're very, very small, and they look very intricate, but again, they're very small moves that I practice that I don't even think about anymore because I've done them so many times. So, hopefully these moves will help you a little bit learn how to isolate, practice in front of a mirror. That's the key. People send me emails all the time asking, how do you, do you have any tips for me? How do I do this? And I just have to say, you just have to practice. You have to see what works well for you. Practice it, make your own style, and that's how you're going to do it. All right, thanks. All right. <laughs>